Okay, so you quickly, quickly write that x goes from zero to four, and then y goes from negative two to two, and that's going to be this uh, a square, actually, square region looking at it from the top, right? Now, the thing uh, that makes it interesting is z goes from y square to four. Okay, so how would you describe that, right? Uh, z is equal to y square. Uh, you may want to draw this in the y z plane. What does it look like? y is equal to z, uh, sorry, z is equal to y squared. And you probably figured out that's a parabola, right? Parabola like this on the y z plane, and z stops at four. So that's right here. Now notice here, z does go from the parabola to four. Okay, so it goes like this, right? So we're talking about the inside part of the, um, of the, uh, um, of the parabola, right? And, um, uh, X goes from zero to four, and then Y goes from negative two to negative two. That's kind of nice because you know these points are, you know, where uh, Y is equal, uh, when Y is equal to two, Z is equal to four in this situation, all right? So having um, understood all of this, you can put this all together and uh, let me draw the um, frame and then I can do the sketching. Okay, so uh, once you are given or you draw your own X, Y, Z uh, axes, um, go ahead and draw your parabola. It's probably easier to do this first on the uh, Y, Z plane. And you can even identify these points here like this. Right? This is four and this is two, right? And then uh, remember Y goes from negative two to positive two. So this is the entire area. And then X goes from zero to four. And so you can uh, extend this in four units. And uh, you can draw another parabola like this and draw a line here. Okay, so, oh, that doesn't look very pretty here. Uh, but anyway, this is what the answer is going to look like. So it is a solid, uh, what do you call that? Parabolic cylinder, right? Because it comes out in this direction. Now let's verify that this is the correct thing here. I said X goes from zero to four, it does, right? And then for each X, I cut this at. And so if I cross this at any particular X value, this kind of analysis I think is really important. You know, just imagine um, crossing this with a particular X value between zero and four. And then of course the image or the cross section is still a parabola, right? And that parabola still goes from Y negative two to two, which is exactly what I said or exactly what the problem said. And then for each X and Y you picked within their res respective ranges, Z goes from Y square two, four, okay? And uh, this is y squared because it's on that parabola, uh, which is z is equal to y squared to four, right? So this is the correct solid for which the uh, volume is given as this triple integral. Okay, my last example in this section comes uh, with, uh, let's see, uh, something similar to this. It probably involves a parabola, right? Uh, I'm going to draw a picture here, and then I want you to um, set up a triple integral for a picture that I'm about to draw called a sliver. All right, so here is my solid, the sliver. Okay, so what do I mean by this? All right, so this, it's hard to describe this uh, uh, verbally, but what we have is a, uh, if you look at this from the top, it is a parabola, it's a parabola, uh, of height nine and the endpoints are negative three, zero and three, zero, right? So this makes sense, right? This is the top view um, in the XY coordinate system. And then if you look at this from the side, it sort of looks like this. So you can imagine, um, you know, something like this. This is, you know, this is basically your um, parabolic cylinder. And then we are slicing it just kind of getting a knife and then cut it right here like this in the in an angle right but it's a very slight angle i guess and so it only has the height one at this highest point um so this top point is zero nine one the bottom point is of course zero nine zero the two end points are three zero zero and negative uh three zero zero the midway point on this edge is of course the origin and uh, so you have a 
what the, it sort of looks like a sliver or something that you put under you know, in the back of your um, bottom of your shoe or something, right? And so this is the part I'm talking about. And uh, let's try to describe this uh, using a triple integral. And uh, I am going to, and, and, you know, sometimes you are given freedom. Sometimes um, I will dis uh, decide what order to uh, write the integral in. This time, let's go ahead and uh, I'm just going to write down the question. Say, um, set up the triple, set up a triple integral. for the volume of this sliver piece, okay? And so, uh, and I'm going to, this time I can specify dz, dy, dx. You can try this in different, the five different orders too. Um, should I do that? Um, <clears throat> well, let's see. Yeah, and, and in fact, I will probably do it in some other way as well, okay? So I will do this order first. And for just extra practice, I'll do this in some other ways as well. All right, so um, how do you set this up? Okay, and you, you may wanna pause this uh, at this point and work on this on your own and then come back and see um, if you got the correct answer. All right, so if you specify, if I specify dz, dy, dx, right, so you don't have a choice. Um, for the first one, you have to choose what x goes from and to. From this picture, you can see x goes from negative three to three. And then for each x you pick, let's go ahead and do that. For each x you pick, if you pick x to be over here, what does it look like? I can cut this right here like this. Yeah, so it's gonna be a triangle. Remember this top, uh, top part is a plane, okay? And we can describe the equation of this plane or you can find the equation of this plane in a moment. But um, you know, again, this this top part here, because you're cutting this, slicing this, you know, as if with a knife, um, this will be a plane. Um, okay, so y goes from this point to this point, right? So that looks like it's from zero to what's that? The largest y value for this slice here. Well, that's like asking what y value is here, right? You know this equation. Equation, the equation of this parabola is y is equal to, well, you have to figure this out, nine, uh, nine minus x squared, okay? Uh, is that obvious? I hope it is, um, you know, because nine, I mean, three squared is equal to nine. Um, this, I mean, you know that this is a uh, upside down parabola, so it's negative x squared plus something. And of course the answer is plus nine because um, the highest point is nine. Right. So once you know that y goes from zero to nine minus x square. Notice when x is zero, it doesn't go anywhere. And when x, no, when x is three, it doesn't go anywhere. Nine minus nine is zero. But if x is zero, y goes from zero all the way to nine. Right. So this uh, seems to be correct. And then for each x and y you pick, z goes from this point to this point. All right, so now we have to figure out the, the equation of that thing, all right? So I suggest you do this, side view with y and z. You notice here, it goes like this, right? That's the triangle I just drew. And at the highest point, okay? So I mean, we're talking about this plane. The high, at the highest point, it goes, this is the right triangle, goes to uh, zero, nine, one. All right, so the slope z is equal to one ninth of y, right? So z goes from zero to one ninth y. You get that? All right, so now you can find the volume. The volume is from negative three to three, from zero to nine minus x squared, and then from zero to one ninth y, and then dz dy dx. And this is the correct answer. And I, drew, I wrote this really big, just to be confident, hey, I am right. And this will represent the volume. Okay, um, you can quit watching this, but I think I wanted to do this one more time um, in the different order, dz, dx, dy. Let's pick this order for extra practice and uh, let's see what you can come up with. You can pause if you like, or you can continue watching. All right, so in this order, 
y has to be so let me go ahead and draw this again okay in this order y goes from what to what well it goes from zero to nine right um this entire solid is be squeezed in between y is equal to zero and y is equal to nine and then for each y x goes from what to what right so then um the way to think about this is to try to cut this solid e uh at a particular y value between zero and nine maybe right here okay and then what's going to happen is you can imagine this is going to be a long triangle uh, not a triangle a rectangle okay and x goes from what to what well it goes from this to this uh, remember this uh this uh, parabola has the equation y is equal to nine minus x squared right so we have to actually and by the way x goes from negative something to positive something so let's try to solve this for x x is uh, x squared is nine minus y so x is the square root of nine minus y plus or minus get that right so that is what we need to write y uh, so for each y between zero and nine x goes from negative square root of nine minus y to the positive square root of nine minus y okay so once you pick uh y and x z goes from this point to this point okay what do you mean by that well z goes from zero to whatever this point is which is on that plane but we already have the equation of the plane right so this plane was z is equal to one ninth y all right so that is the point because y is already you know picked uh and then x is picked and for each x y i picked z, z goes from zero to one ninth y and so combining this you can find the volume to be between zero and nine between zero oh it's not zero negative square root of nine minus y positive square root of nine minus y and then uh, z going from zero to one ninth y dz dx dy okay it's a lot of work okay and i i know it's a lot of work but um this may be the, the i don't know this may be one of the hardest parts of calculus three uh, you have to have a good visualization you have to have good spatial you know understanding and uh, uh you know way to set up these uh, the upper and lower bounds for each part part and um it, it's it, it's not easy but uh, the more you do this the better you will get so try uh, your homework uh, problems okay so what can i say after a hard lesson like this um really just do practice and uh, before you know it you will be pretty competent in uh, setting up triple integrals um it's like building your muscles you know you just have this extra weight now called the third dimension and um and it's also like you know uh, spending more time with something and you get to know a lot more about that and so practice and uh, build some mathematical muscles out there all right i hope you'll have a great week and I will see you later. Take care.